everybody and welcome back. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. Merry Christmas to everybody. We've got another TTM video today. We send autographs TTM or through the mail trying to get things signed by our favorite athletes. When they do, we come to YouTube and report our successes. That way we can share the information. And if you see your favorite athlete, you can get their autograph too. First one up, we've got seven. First one is from Santa Clarita, California. We love getting returns from Santa Clarita, where they're always partying with Jim O'Brien. Kind of put them in. There's that 74, 272 rookies. Super Bowl five he put on there on the 272s. It's pretty cool. Had a pretty brief NFL career. Let's see, how old is he now? 74? Is he 74? Yeah, he is 74. He only played for four years in the NFL. Um, 70 to 73, but what a career it was. Colts and Lions ended up kicking the uh, winning super winning uh, field goal in Super Bowl V. Colts over the Cowboys. Played uh, both kicker and receiver, which is uh, what a lot of kickers did back in that era. Played more than one position. That's why he was number 80. But uh, yeah, 60 field goals in his career and 14 receptions. Went to high school in Cincinnati, college at Cincinnati. Played football and basketball at the University of Cincinnati, as a matter of fact. Nine days, quick quick return there from Jim O'Brien. Boston, Massachusetts, next up. Two of seven. There's Bob Montgomery. Doesn't sign duplicates. Didn't sign my note. That's pretty cool. You returned it. Didn't sign the index cards. Don't know if Doug Griffin's still around or not. 71 rookie card. 72 first singular card for him. Played 10 seasons as a backup catcher. Backed up a pretty good player. Future Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk from 70 to 79. Last player to legally bat without a batting helmet. After the helmet rule went to effect, they grandfathered those who were currently playing, and he was the final one to hit without a batting helmet. Not a bad little bit of trivia there for Bob Montgomery. Did radio for the Red Sox for about 15 years after his playing days. 13 days, no fee. There was no fee for Jim O'Brien either. 13 days for Bob Montgomery. Next up, Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. That's Goose. Goose Gossage on his 73 rookie. Pretty sweet. Always great signature from the Goose. He's charging $10 each now. Used to be one free and $5 after that. Now he's pretty much 10 across the board, I believe. Your results may vary. But he's a Hall of Famer, no doubt. Played 22 years. 72 to 93 or 94. Nine different teams. Played for the Pirates for a year before he was shipped to the Yankees, and then he won a World Series in 78 with those World Series champion New York Yankees. Involved in their playoff runs in the late 80s, and or late 70s and into the 80s. Was a starter at his original first part of his career. 7-1 and one there in his rookie year. Switched to reliever. 310 saves, nine times an All-Star, and he's a member of that exclusive... 1,000 Games Pitch Club. Only 16 members. 14 days, and there was a $10 fee. Goose Gossage. Next up, North Houston, Texas. That's a big... All right, got a free card, too, from Mr. Deron Talbert. 75, 273. This is what I sent him, and he sent that back. He was with the Alumni Association for a long time after his... Um, retirement as a plane. It's a defensive end, a defensive tackle. Started off a decent defensive end and the Redskins moving to tackle. Man, got three plus three. Six out of three for Darren Talbert or Duran, however you want to pronounce it. He's 77 years old now. Played 14 years. 67 to 80. Made the Pro Bowl in 74. Pretty sweet. 17 days, no fee, six out of three for Mr. Talbert. 
Nice. Uh, next up, Cincinnati. Speaking of Cincinnati, Mr. Jim O'Brien, UC alum. Dick LeBeau, nice. Didn't sign the index cards. Sign that 67. Is that a 67 Philadelphia card? Don't know. Nine years as a pro. Yeah, he's talking about 66. I think it is 67. The Ohio State University right there. No, he didn't go to Cincinnati. He went to Ohio State. And he's a football lifer. I mean, tell you, he's in the Hall of Fame as a cornerback. He had 62 interceptions in his career. That's pretty sweet. Played corner for 14 years from 59 to 72. Then he immediately got into coaching and coached for another 45 years after that. So he was in the NFL for 59 seasons. Football lifer. I sent him a $5 fee. He used to sign for free. And then there was some rumor he was going to start charging after he made the Hall of Fame. So I sent him 5 bucks, and he signed that one. So six days. Quick return from Cincinnati as usual. Next up, North Houston. Merry Christmas, he says. Or she says. <laughs> It's Ernie Coy, Texas Longhorns, New York football giants. He spanked the index cards. 70 tops, 68 tops. Same picture. Thanks, tops. <laughs> Same exact photo. Two years apart. Not bad. Four out of two from... Look at that. I love that logo on the 68 cards. It's old-time football logos. He's 79 years old. He was a former running back and punter. Hunter running back. Jim O'Brien was a kicker receiver. But Coy, uh, athletic family, his dad, Ernie Coy Sr., played uh, professional baseball for about five years. And then his brother, Ted, also played at uh, University of Texas. Ernie played running back in football, 65 to 76 seasons, all for the Giants. Ten days. Five out of three, five out of, four out of two, Ernie Coy. Last one. 10 days for Ernie Coy. Last one from Carol Stream, Illinois. It's the Buzz. Buzz Capra. Signed that 72 tops rookie. And two index cards. Four out of two. I'm getting a lot of index cards today. I love it. Love it, love it. Buzz Capra's got a great signature. Of course, John Matlack's a great signer through the mail. He'll get that back. Leroy Stanton, uh, Stanton uh, passed away within... Last year, year and a half or so, he used to sign that card. People can get that triple signed pretty easily. Back in the day, Buzz Capra, he's 74 years old. He was a right-handed pitcher for seven seasons from 71 to 77. Braves and Mets. All-star in 74 when he led the league in ERA at 2.28. That was quick. Nine days. No fee for the Buzz. Buzz Capra, I'll send it off to Mr. Metlack soon enough. He's a great signer. So that's it. What'd you think? Pretty quick. Seven returns. Two Hall of Famers. Nice. Super Bowl champion. Let me know down below what your favorite was. Give me a thumbs up, of course, if you like what you see. And, uh, of course, I always try to leave a one-click subscription link right there on your right. That way, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can just click there and then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. And I always try to leave a link to the most recent Through the Mail Autograph video right there and of course if you have any questions you can check the description down below and that'll give you the link to how many days and if there was a fee but thanks for watching and we'll see you soon